If you love visiting historic places, an enchanting way to do it is by visiting the Thorn Miniature Rooms at the Art Institute of Chicago. Within the room's walls, you'll find cabinets filled with replicas of a variety of rooms. Plaques beneath each cabinet describe the type of room and the era it's from. Any kind of room that you'd find in a real house is represented, from kitchens and bedrooms to living rooms, libraries, and even entrance halls, one of which showed signs of possible paranormal activity during our visit. We'll get to that. But speaking of hauntings, because the displays are behind glass, the reflection often poses a challenge for getting a clear shot of the incredible craftsmanship inside. And sometimes, it results in ghostly-looking images. But one that immediately caught my eye was this one. Is that the Hermitage? I asked myself when I saw it. Photos are not normally allowed inside the real Hermitage, but they are when they give ghost tours. I unfortunately didn't take any photos of the entrance hallway straight on when we took a ghost tour of the Hermitage. And I'm not 100% sure in the case of the Thorn Miniature Rooms that that's supposed to be the Hermitage, but they sure look similar, don't they? The attention to detail extends beyond the rooms themselves. Not only are the ceilings and floors detailed in every manner possible, but the cases are decorated in a way to suggest that life thrives beyond the doors and windows, too. There's a quote from movie director Wes Anderson in the Thorn Miniature Rooms where, to paraphrase, he explains how mesmerizing and fascinating the displays are because they evoke different periods and different places. Yes, they do. But there was one entrance hall in particular that caught my eye. Not so much for the design, which was a beautiful 1799 New Hampshire entrance hall, but because of the flickering light. Signs of a restless spirit within? Have you ever visited the Thorn Miniature Rooms at the Art Institute of Chicago? If so, let me know in the comments below, and if you like and subscribe, I'd sure appreciate that too. Thank you so much. Until next time, ciao for now.